Hey crew, it's Pitt, and I'm back with some Unreal Engine. Today we're going to be talking about blueprints, how to make them, and what they're good for. Let's go ahead and dive on in. We're inside the shifted project. I have already made blueprints for these two, but we're going to go ahead and make some blueprints for some more assets. I'm going to start right here. Well, that's my 4x4 corner that I've got. We'll start with this ball right here. We'll take this 4x4 window single. We're going to go and right click and scroll down to asset actions. We're going to create a blueprint using this. We will decide where to put it. This is going to be a wall and it will be a red wall. So we're going to go ahead and put it in the red wall folder. It should open and when it opens I am going to pull it up here. Uh, Alright, so what we have here is a blueprint and the reason why we have a blueprint is because it takes less assets to use a blueprint than it does to use a regular static mesh. This is taking an instance of the mesh and we're going to change it and uh, be able to use this in a more functional manner. We're going to turn all of this pink to a different color. So what we're going to do is take this static mesh over here on the left hand side uh, and it's going to pull up our options on the side. When we were in Blender and we made the four separate materials, this is where those go. If we open our control bar here, I have already created a material for this. Uh, and it is going to be in Pet Assets Material Base. Right? Maybe not. Let's do this. We're going to click on this, go to details, and then, oh wait, I need to be on static mesh details, and our materials are here. Alright, If we, where where did I put it? I want to see that in the folder. Alright, this is mega scan, surfaces, stucco facade, this is the material instance. I'm going to make another folder, but not right now. Uh, we're going to take it this while it's highlighted here go back over here and this will be our exterior so we're going to go exterior top and click the arrow which will use it you can also grab it drop it in the slot that you want it and now if we get to the back side of here let me uh i gotta remember how to function in this one uh, well the lighting's a little wonky if we go to unlit you can see that the color is different. This is going to be our stucco. And then we will do the same thing. If we highlight it here and hit the arrow, we can slot it in both these spots. And there we go. We have a new asset, a static mesh blueprint that we can use in the game. And it uses less assets or less resources for our computer than it would if we were to just uh, pull in our a, a repeated static meshes. <clears throat> so we're going to compile it, we're going to save it, we're going to go back over to our third person map and we're going to pull it into the game so that we can see that it's working. We're going to pull that in here, we will hit E to rotate, rotate that to 90 degrees, hit W to go back into directional movement we will go where we can look at it from the front um, I do have a unwrapping issue on this corner I'm gonna have to fix in blender uh, I may try to do a tutorial on, on fixing that but probably not uh, you can see that this will match better to this uh, this is just unwrapped terribly when I made this asset, I did not re-unwrap it, and it, it caused all kinds of stretching problems. But, this piece, we already have the, the sockets plugged in, right? So it snaps. And now, we have a, a wall that we can use, and we can pull in as many of these as we need. We can duplicate them from here, if we want. If you hold down the Alt and drag out, you can duplicate um, and doesn't tear up your your processing and your memory um, it's the exact same process for any blueprint that you want to make <clears throat> what 
we will come back to other ones when we're going to be making bigger changes than just the color. But for now, uh, this is how you change color on the static mesh. This is how you create the blueprint. Uh, and it will help to flesh out the world without destroying your memory limitations. These are not lining up together. Why? Why not? Yeah, I'm going to have to do some work on this corner. Uh, but that's it for today. Hopefully, I brought a little bit of, inter of enlightenment to the situation and not too much confusion. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them down below. Let me know what you'd like to see, what I don't cover, what you need to know. Uh, let me know, and we will get into it. Uh, to the crew, thanks for hanging out. I appreciate every single minute that you are here with me, and I am praying for you every single day. Till next time, this has been Pitt. Peace.